This is going to be a challenging video for me because it's something I've never done before. And I want to, I want to tell you my thought process and how I create a dish from start to finish. And it's uh, because my mind is so cluttered and busy. Um, how I create a food, it's it's going to be a challenge for me, but I, but I want to do it. And I'm going to pick a simple dish to try and uh, break down and see if I can get it across. See if you understand my thought process on how to create a dish. So yeah, it's going to be challenging, but I'm looking forward to it. All right, I'm looking through my dishes and I'm trying to find a simple dish that I can uh, get across to you from my mind to you, how I, how I create it. And um, I want a dish to have like four or five components, nothing too crazy. And I found this uh, pan fried cod with heirloom tomato salad with jalapeno basil pesto. And that's only got four or five components. So I remember this well. And uh, yeah, let's get started. I'm going to try and uh, tell you how I created this dish from start to finish. All right, you ready? Let's let's go in my mind. It's, it's, it's going to be weird. There might be some starts and stops and pauses in this video. Clunk, it's going to be clunky. It might not be. I don't know. But um, let's start off. Let's how I create a dish and creating a dish for me. I always think of it as like a blank canvas, and I love a blank canvas. Quite a lot of artists, you know, think think of a canvas blank and a, a white plate. I always think of a, a white plate to start off with. A lot of artists find a blank canvas really intimidating. For me, I like it. I it, it, it makes my juices flow. If you get what I mean told you gonna be weird every chef's thought process to creating a dish is different i'm i'm just gonna tell you mine and i first start off with the protein i think quite a lot of chefs do that but i always think of what protein am i going to use is it going to be pork is it going to be chicken is it going to be beef is it going to be seafood also depends on what type of mood i'm in but if somebody asked me to cook them a dish and they want a specific protein well that's you know my, their mind's made up and that's easier for me but for this dish for the i, I wanted to go for cod and for me that's, that's it's a nice mild flavor so cod it is and then after the protein i always think of what sauce it'll need or will it need a sauce it might not even need a sauce um but every dish needs to have some moisture so i'm like thinking does it need a dressing does it need a heavy dressing does it need a light dressing does it need a heavy rich sauce does it need a, a light sauce there's all these things it's cod rich sauces go well with cod but also light sauces go well with cod and then i'm like thinking I'm going to do a salad. I'm in a mood for salad. So is it going to be a cold salad? Is it going to be a warm salad? I'm thinking warm salad. So I've got all the elements in my head done. And then once it's a cold, warm salad, I'm like thinking, well, light sauce. I'm going to go for a light sauce. Salad, warm salad with cod, a heavy rich sauce. Doesn't work. So I'm going, and then I'm on the lines of a light sauce. So, so going back to the protein and I've ch chosen cod, um, because cod's so delicious, it's mild, it's hard to cook as well, hard to get perfect, but it's also mild in flavour. So any other flavour components can overpower the cod, so you need to be careful. So I want flavours just underneath, just complementing the cod, but not overpowering the cod, if you know what I mean. So what I'm trying to say is cod's the main star of the dish, and it's mild in flavour. So any other powerful flavours I put in that dish, the cod's going to get lost, and I, I I don't want that. So I want the cod to be the star of the dish, and the cod just, mm, there. I'm cod, you're below me, if you get what I mean. So I've decided it's going to be cod, it's going to be a salad. Um, I haven't got the sauce down yet. Um, so salad, cod, then I think of what sauce... Could that be? Could it be a rich sauce? No. Could it be a mild sauce? No. Could it be a cream sauce? Nah, it just won't work. I want something light, uh, rich and light. And I'm like thinking pesto. Pesto would be nice. It's got a nice mild flavor. It goes very well with cod. It's not going to overpower the cod. It's got basil in it, which is quite strong. But if you mellow it out a little bit with some of the uh, nuts and the olive oil, um, it, it's a nice even balance with the cod, if you know what I mean. I know what I mean. So, so at this stage, I've got the protein down. We've got the sauce down. And I, like I said, I wanted this uh, dish to have only like four components, not very many at all, four or five com components. So I'm like thinking, what else is really good? And I was like thinking of plating, what's colourful? And I'm like thinking at the time, because it's a summer dish, heirloom tomatoes. And they're great looking. Uh, they look great on a plate. Will go fantastic with the pesto, the greens um, and the uh, yellows, the reds. And I was, th that's 
way I was thinking too. And also I was thinking from a textural point of view as well, because tomatoes depends how thick you cut them. They're, they're, they're good for texture. I just didn't want to throw something on the end, like some nuts and say, well, that's texture. Every dish nearly needs te texture. Most dishes in my mind need texture. It, it, it's just the way that it is. So I'm, I'm trying to think about textural and also how the tomatoes will act in the dish. Bear, bear with me, you're going to go in my mind. So what I'm trying to say, I wanted the tomatoes to be a another star of the dish along with the cod and I wanted to incorporate them in a textural way and also in a in a beautiful looking way. I didn't want to just dice the tomatoes and put them in a corner and just forget about them. I wanted to think about texture, colour, presentation, flavour and then also a second star of the dish. And also I wanted the tomatoes to be not harsh. You know, I, I, I wanted to do something with them, like put some acidity on them and uh, some salt. Salt brings out the flavor of them. Acidity sort of softens them like a little bit. But if I didn't put any salt on there or any acidity, they'll, they'd just be a bit harsh. And I wanted a little bit of softness, but also a little bite for texture. And that's what I did. And I think it worked really, really well. At this point, I was thinking, how should I present the tomatoes? Should I dice them? Should I slice them? Uh, should I slice them thin? Should I slice them thick? And because this dish has only got four or five elements on a plate, and I wanted the tomatoes to be the star of the dish, the second star of the dish, along with the cod, I wanted to slice them. I think it was best to slice them into thick rounds. Wanted, if, he, if I slice them thin, it, would, it just wouldn't work. Slice them thick, you can appreciate the tomato. It's going to taste good. The texture is going to be good. Thinly sliced tomatoes, it'd just be floppy. It wouldn't work. It would look um, terrible on a plate. Also, if I diced them, it'd look terrible on a plate. So it's very important how you go about thinking. Th I think of that ingredient and how am I going to slice it? How am I going to dice it? And, you know, and to thickly slice it compared to thinly slice, big, big difference, big difference. So now I've got cod, I've got pesto, I've got tomatoes, and I'm going in dangerous territory now because every ingredient is so mild. I wanted a little bit of heat. I wanted a heat element to it. Um, so I'm like thinking, what's an easy pepper? What's an easy thing to control? Jalapenos, they're so easy to control. You can really control the heat with them compared to like a Thai chili, you easy to make a mistake so jalapenos i picked jalapenos and, and they're very subtle got a very subtle heat to them so i i added them to the pesto and it just i just wanted a nice little back heat not in your face heat with the cod and the tomatoes and the pesto just a nice little back heat and that's what i did it really went well but i could have easily have gone over the top um it, and also when people make this dish, it's optional. You don't really need to do that. But I always think with this dish, it's got a nice little backy to it. It's nice. When you're creating a dish or developing a dish or whatever, it's like conducting an orchestra. There's all little things going on. It's same with ingredients. There's all little things going on. All right, so we've got the cod, we've got the tomatoes, we've got the pesto. I wanted some, some sort of heat in the dish. And now I want some pop. I want a little bit of pop. And I could have gone with, I want some acidity in this dish. And I could have gone with pickled onions. Um, although, although there is some little thinly shaved onions in this dish, along with the tomatoes. Um, but I wanted some tanginess. I wanted um, some a tangy, pickled, acidity element in this dish. And for me, radishes are the perfect fit. Um, they've got a slight bite, the tangy. And when they're pickled, they that tanginess uh, sort of mellows down a little bit. But also the tanginess is still there. Bear, bear with me. So and also it's important how, how thinly sliced you, you slice them in a way. So I pickled some radishes and they they went well with the dish. They went so well with the dish. Just um, you've got to be careful. You've got to be careful still with this heat and also with the pickles, with the acidity. You don't want to add too much because it's going to overpower the dish. At least four or five thinly sliced radishes just scattered about the dish really complements all the flavors but if you put more than that it's just going to overpower it so again balance of flavors and that's what i was trying to think of just just be careful with that because the dish is so mild any slight little things you put on there out of place it's going to stand out a mile so i've got to be careful i had to be careful with that so orders of flavor and this is what i was trying to achieve and i got it so this is what you would experience if you would eat it at the top of the line cod you've got cod start the show 
the Big Daddy, of course. That's what I wanted. Next underneath, you've got uh, basil pesto. And then underneath the pesto, you've got tomatoes, right? Next, additional, you've got a little bit of heat, just the back heat there. And then you've got the pop, just a little bit of acidity pop going on. And all that, all that just relates to each other because the, the dish is so mild and just a little bit of heat, a little bit of pop goes so well. So, and also for the plating, I wanted it beautiful. I wanted it stacked. I wanted it colorful. It's a summer dish. Um, you know, a summer dish needs to be colorful and beautiful and fresh. You know, it's a fresh dish. It's summer. And as soon as that plate comes to the table, you, you want to make them dive in there. So, and also what works with this dish as well is microgreens. And I chose bull's blood and it's got a beautiful color, purple. Um, it's got a sweet beet mild flavor. It's a beet. And, um, I, I, I chose that microgreen very carefully. Um, it's mild. It relates to all the flavors of the dish. I just didn't pick, I, I, I just didn't throw any microgreens on there and hope for the best. It all has to relate. I chose it carefully and uh, it works well. It looks beautiful um, with the pesto of the, of the green, the color of the heirlooms and the white of the cod. Um, yeah, it all works. It's a simple, very mild, beautiful summer dish and um, it's tasty as well. So yeah, hope you enjoyed it. That's my thought process simplified to you. I hope you've enjoyed it. Uh, I have. It's been a challenge. Ooh, has it been a challenge? So yeah, um, thanks guys.